Good day, YouTube. One MJ here, and welcome back. All right, so Monday evening here, Australia, and that means Monday morning over in the states. And look, the markets have rebounded a little bit. This was down at uh, two point one five two trillion dollars not that long ago, so it's already up eleven trillion dollars in literally like maybe sort of 15, 20 minutes or so. And my sort of hope, because it's a guess as well, is that I think the bottom's probably in. Does that guarantee it's in? Absolutely not. It could go lower. There's a whole stack of, you know, kind of madness happening at the moment. I mean, a lot of this is just panic selling. I mean, majority of it is panic selling. It's weak hands, over leveraged, you know, all the rest of it. We're here thinking they were going to chuck some money in and just a quick flip, you know, of a couple of hundred dollars, turn it into a million dollars or a couple of hundred thousand. And people just don't understand that it's not that easy uh, to do. You can do that kind of stuff. Don't get me wrong. You absolutely can turn like a thousand dollars into a hundred thousand dollars. You could you could have done it with Polygon quite easy. Now Polygon has pulled back a little bit, but by the time it goes on its next run, I mean I picked up Polygon at two cents. I got some under two cents. I think my average buy price was around about two and a half cents. I bought some at about three. I bought some at about two. I bought some just under two, and that has literally one hundred x and getting close to you know, doing even more. So yeah, it can be done. It 100% can be done. And again, I only wish I hadn't put in more. But anyway, you can see it's just a sea of red here. And really, the thing that's done it at the moment uh, is the Elon stuff, because nothing else has really changed. And what we can do over here is go to the fear and greed index 27. Now this, this is all about, you know, your real conviction. Are you a true crypto investor? Because I'm telling you right now, this is my personal opinion, not financial advice. This is buy time. This is when you buy. When it's like this, the prices are basically as cheap as they're going to get. Can they get a little bit cheaper? Yeah, they could. But maybe, again, we've hit the bottom and it's just going to be upwards from here on in. But this is where the real investors get hungry. They're like, yep, everyone's freaking out and selling everything. I'm going to buy in. I don't have to buy the exact bottom. I just got to be thereabouts because it won't take long before it turns and then flips all the way over to here and you're going to see an absolute price rise. Again, could that be diff could it be different this time? Yeah, sure, look, maybe, you know, this is the bear market and it's truly different this time. I don't think that. I don't think that for one second, but it's something you got to keep in the back of your mind, but for me, I'm buying at the moment and we'll get onto the Bitcoin charts and I'll see why. But let's go back here. All right, BTC dominance, 38%, so we're well under 40% now. ETH dominance, uh, just around about 19%, and gas price is super cheap. All right, as we can see, a Sierra Red, has anything done well in the last 24 hours? That's going to be a very interesting question. Solana did okay, bakery swap, good lord. Thorchain's done all right, Holo, look, there's a couple of coins with a couple of gains, but then we're really into, you know, basically less than 1% gains and into the stable coins and things like that. So yes, there were some gains. I mean, Aave's managed to do well over the seven days, Leo token as well, bakery swap again. It's just made the top 100. Uh, you know, I stay away from all that kind of stuff, but you know, you make your own mind up. All right, what's really been smacked around in the last 24 hours, though? What's really been hurt? What's got hammered? Pirate chain. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Safe moon, good lord. Quantum, that's going to hurt. Polka dot, that take, took a bit of a beating. But again, sounds like a pretty good buy option to me. Stax is down. NEM, EOS token, synthetics down 11%. But still up 1.6% for the seven days and maybe already starting to yeah, bounce back because again, it's that Monday morning when the markets open in the States particularly that is really going to decide what's going to happen. So can we go higher or could we go lower? Let's have a look at the Bitcoin chart. It has almost wicked down perfectly to the bottom of this uh, green sort of area that I had in here. And for me, this is like buying opportunity. Now, can this go lower and actually come down and fully touch this? Absolutely. But maybe it doesn't. Maybe it is literally in now. That was the bottom and it just starts to rocket back up from here. That's the hard part. No one really knows. But even if it rockets up, 
has another fake out and then has to come back down and retest over here before we go up. So, you know, another sort of week or two away, then so be it. But I don't believe we are at the bottom yet. I think we may, at some stage, again, push up and then roll over and touch over here. And then that'll touch on the 200 day moving average. I think that's possible. But also I think it's highly possible and possibly likely that the bottom is in. It got right down into this green area where we've had strong support. People were buying, buying and you know, it was resistance and then it became support. So that old flip, you know, of what was once resistance becomes support. Support, you know, sort of support in this green area here support and yeah we're dipping down into it but yeah i just get the feeling like the worst is done and again if we were to drop from sort of forty-five thousand down to thirty-eight thousand, that'd sting a little bit but it wouldn't be anywhere near as bad as you know if you've bought from here i mean what are these poor people at anyone who bought you know the 60 sort of four thousand dollar mark i mean they've lost 34 percent already so for the rest of us, if we were to go from here down to here, that's only 15% loss. So that's not really that bad. So for me, that's what I think. I think this is a great buying opportunity. Could it, you know, come down here? Definitely. But I just don't think it will. I think it's kind of done. Uh, you know, the only thing that will really kind of uh, affect that a little bit, and it won't be that major, is Elon coming out and saying Tesla sold all their Bitcoin that could actually push a candle body close down to here. But again, you know, people are freaking out about this whole Tesla thing. Tesla own or bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin, but it only totaled to less than 1%. I think it was 0.02% uh, or something like that, or 0.2%, I forget exactly what it was, of Bitcoin. So it's bugger all. It doesn't really matter if they sell all their Bitcoin. It's just the narrative that goes with it that will affect the price. They couldn't sell all their Bitcoin and push this down to $5,000 or $400. They could sell all their Bitcoin and have everyone else panic and do the same and push, and push it down to those prices. But it's just not going to happen. There's more Bitcoin being bought uh, than is generally being sold. And it has been that way for a while, except for 13th of April. So about a month. It's just been going down. But other than that, I mean, you know, look where we've come from. It's just up, 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 up. But that can't last forever. So I think this is the pullback and the sideways motion. And off we go. But anyway, I'll, I won't ramble on about that anymore. I've said enough about that. Now, look, this is what it's, you know, all about at the moment. Bitcoin drops after Musk suggests Tesla may sell holdings. Says it hasn't yet. I don't think they're going to sell all their Bitcoin. Will they sell some? Absolutely. They're not going to sell all of it because they know that this isn't the end and it's likely going to go up magnitudes from here. So that'd be crazy to sell all their Bitcoin. Now, can they sell a substantial bit more? And this is what I'm looking for. They sell their Bitcoin, not all of it, but a good majority of it at a really good price. They get into something else, whether that be Doge or Cardano. People are talking about Cardano. And then all of a sudden they come out and say that they're in Cardano. And again, after they've bought Cardano, and then you watch that price rise and go basically, you know, to the moon, and then all of a sudden they sell a whole stack of Cardano and they move on to the next coin and they just keep doing the same thing. That would not surprise me and that is what I'm looking out for. All right, the last story, because there's not too much going on. It's Monday morning uh, over in the States and that not a lot of news comes out on the weekends. So Vitalik Buterin, he burnt 6.7 billion dollars of Shiba to reward its generous hodlers. Now he also uh, gave a whole stack of them uh, to, oh, what is it? God, I'm totally stuck for words. Now charities, that's it. He donated a whole stack to charities and then burnt a whole stack. So anyone who's holding Shiba at the moment is probably you know, somewhat happy that there's a whole lot less. I mean, the price has probably still gone down quite substantially, but there's a whole lot less. All right, that's it from me. So a pretty quick one. I'm working day shifts this week, so you know my material until the weekend comes is probably not going to be overly exciting. I just don't have enough time to you know put hours and hours uh, into the work. 
but there wasn't much news stories anyway really it's just you know is tesla selling their bitcoin or have they kind of sold what they're happy to sell and will they now hold from here all right that's it for me stay safe be kind to one another you are an absolute legend if you're on that gain train at the moment because the market is down uh, and down quite a bit and i'll see you next time